Jose, you've lived in Manchester now for 18 months in the city centre. Can you sum this match up to the people of the city? No. Not really. Okay, what about what the match means to you then? To me? To me means one more big match against one of the best teams in the in the country, the first against the second. A big match. How good are City? Very good. You're, you're 11 points better off than you were this time last year, so you've obviously improved a great deal. Do you feel a great sense of security about your team playing this game than you did maybe when you played them last year? We are a better team than last year. No doubts about it. I think City also is a better team than, than last season. Do you think one of you will be league champions this year? No. I think we can, but I think uh, other teams can, can be champions too. I think it's the first game played between the two sides since the arena bombing in Manchester. Are Manchester United and Manchester City as organisations closer together because of that? You know, they raised the million pounds, the two came round the table at Old Trafford. Is there a more well, of a... That, the, these are the beautiful things that football can, that football can do. And we could feel in that, uh, in that period that the clubs were ready to work together for the city, you know? That, that's, that's no doubt. It would be really sad if that was not, that was not the case. Now this is... Uh, a football match, an important uh, football match, where I wish that everything goes well in relation to to the fans. You know, I think uh, in the right way, if if taken in the right way, the the derbies are a, a beautiful thing. You know, same city, different colors, friends, they support different colors. Even under the same roof, in some families, they disagree on the passion for the colours. I think if taken in the right way, I think it's a beautiful thing. So I hope that tomorrow, before the game, you have a, a city full of, uh, of colour, red and blue, and after the game the same. And during the game, that's a football match where everybody wants to win. You manage some of the biggest cities in the world football-wise. Has, has this got its own identity when it comes to football? I mean, have people been stopping you this week about this game and how important it is for the Reds to win? You know, I live a little bit isolated from from society. I, I don't feel it so much. You know, it's, it's about training ground and uh, and hotel and uh, my day off after um, CSK. I went home, so. I really don't have that, that communication, but I don't need that. I don't need that to know that uh, a derby is, uh, is something um, special for the people. For us, in the end, it's three points. But honestly, I think for the, for the people born in the city and, and feeling the colours in that good, positive rivalry, I think is, is a special match. Paolo Fonseca had a special outfit, maybe Manchester City are in the way. I imagine you don't go in for anything like that. You're not going to be dressed as Zorro if you meet Pep. No. Next question. How, how's the squad looking? You kind of alluded it to it the other night, the issues you face and the doubts that you have. Any further light on that? On Excuse me? The players that are unavailable. The unavailable. players? Yeah. Zlatan is available. Jones is available. Fellaini, I have to wait until until tomorrow. Karik is not available. Bayi is not available. Matic is injured, but he plays. And this might not surprise you, but Pep's confirmed that Silva is going to be available to play. Are you expecting yeah. anyone else to be absent for City? No, I think Mandino. What kind of a game are you expecting? Often with games that have so much hype attracting to it, 
they don't live up to it. With with what happened no, last week, it... football is unpredictable. <laughs> you you know you can try, you can try, you can try. Me as a manager, I can try to define a game plan. I can try to 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 work a direction. But football is unpredictable. You don't know what 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 can happen. You know there are so many things that are out of control that can transform totally the direction of a, of the game. So I wouldn't risk saying which which game are we going to have. Pep has mentioned the the size difference in the two teams, the physicality, and the fact that you have so many plus six foot players and. And obviously, Pep agreed that they've been vulnerable at set pieces. Do you think that will be a factor in the game? I think it will be easy for a company to compete against Mata in there. 